Okay, so first off, I have to know, has Harry moved up, you joked about it, Harry moved up in your phone from speed dial 16 to two or three? I'm happy to report <laughs> that Harry Hamlin is now number one on my favorites in my phone. Ooh. Number one. Number one? Harry with a little star Hamlin. <laughs> That's how it is. Now who's number yes. two and three? Number two is home. Okay. Three is Delilah Bell and four is Amelia. And then it just, you know, goes down from there. Run down from there. Yeah. Now how is he liking being on the show? Is he getting used to the cameras? Is he enjoying it? Oh, Harry's it? not on the show. Are you kidding no? me? Harry's like the Kanye West of the Kardashians. <laughs> Harry's not on the show. You're lucky if you get a little glimpse of Harry, but he's on the show more this year mm -hmm. than he was last year because it's that kind of thing, you know, if you tell somebody they have to, it's a kind of thing, if you tell somebody they have to do something mm -hmm. and they don't want to do it, they don't do it. Right. But if you just, you know, say, oh, you don't have to, he just pops up. <laughs> That's Harry. Little cameo. He's like cameo. God. We treat Harry like God. We let Harry do whatever <laughs> Harry wants to do. And I'm telling you, when Harry shows up, it's fantastic. Yeah. I mean, really. Yeah. Now, you, you, you said before that you were like, I am never going to do this show. I'm never going to do this show. But then you did a season. And now, so you're coming back for the second season. Tell me, how. what did I you know learn I'm anything? I so full of shit, aren't I? <laughs> <laughs> no, no, no. Things change. They say never say never, I'm right? So full of I never served. So what, but has, have you learned anything from your first season now moving on to the second? I have learned a tremendous amount. Yeah. I mean, I'm no longer the newbie. Yeah. Obviously. Which has to feel good. I don't know what it feels like. I'm not sure it feels good or not. <laughs> I'm not really sure. What I have learned from doing this show, which is very positive, mm -hmm. is it's given me my voice, which you would think, wow, seems like I've always had my voice. Yeah. I haven't, you know, I haven't always said how I felt. This show is about thinking out loud. Mm. This show is about conflict and resolution and conflict and more resolution and more conflict. And lots more conflict. And lots more conflict. <laughs> so it's really about dealing with other personalities, mm -hmm. trying to work together. I have learned a tremendous amount and I would not be who I am today if I hadn't gone through this experience. Yeah. So now, I mean, did, was there ever a point though where you were like, I'm not coming back for a second season? I mean, did you ever feel like, this is maybe a little too much? Yes. What was, and what, <laughs> when, when, at what point? Um, like almost every day, no. <laughs> <laughs> You know, it gets challenging. This show is challenging to do. It yeah. really is. Um, because you don't have a script, and it is real, and you're dealing with real friendship, and you have conflict, and you love these people. You know what I mean? Mm -hmm. Like, I really knew all of these girls. So it wasn't like I was going into something. I mean, I had, I had an emotional connection, I guess, is, yeah. is the best yeah. way to put it. So when you have conflict with these people, and the show goes up and down, I mean, you know, we're good and then we're not good, and then we're good and we're not good. I mean, it is crazy, but it is like life. It's just heightened, yeah. you know? Yeah. It's and intense. on display. And on display. And you have to really be open and you really have to share what's really going on in your life mm -hmm. and be authentic. Yeah, and we saw a one-on-one -on -one with you and Kim in the trailer. And that super tease. Yeah, yeah, like the super tease. Yeah. I mean, was there, tell me about that moment. Is there like a, I mean, you know, I know you can't reveal too much. We well, have to watch, yeah. obviously. But I mean, are, how is your relationship now? You have to watch. <laughs> <laughs> Give me something. I mean, are you guys, were you guys able to, to, to rehash anything, to kind of work through anything or? You have to watch it. You really do. I'm not kidding. You have to watch. I can't give it away. No, you don't have to give it away. But I mean, are you are you guys talking now? Is it a, is it a? You're not gonna give me anything. I'm not are gonna you? give you one. She's looking at me. She's time. like, time. I'm not gonna give you one iota <laughs> of it. Not even because okay. you really. It doesn't happen for quite some time. Now, I will tell you that. Well, we do know that she kind of is taking a a, a break. You know, from the show, she's not doing the show full time. Do you think that was a, a a better decision for her and her sobriety? Of course. Yeah. Absolutely. Do you think that she'll be successful in her sobriety? Do you think, I mean, are you rooting for her? I hope she gets well. Yeah. I really do, of course. Yeah. All right, well, moving right along. <laughs> <laughs> um, uh, in last week's episode, you guys were kind of slammed for not wearing makeup. I mean, did you? Well, I, I was not. I mean, it was about Yolanda Foster, whom yeah. I think looks more beautiful without makeup than I ever look with full drag on, okay? We say full, we say full drag Come on. Come on, full glam. <laughs> Yolanda Foster is beautiful without makeup. Yeah. Um, there's that. Yeah. I'm going to say that. And I mean, but in, that was an intense response, would you agree? 
I, you know, I didn't know that that was the response because yet I, you know, you don't know what you don't film. Mm -hmm. So to see that, um, I don't know. Yeah. I think she looks beautiful. She does look beautiful. She's there, makeup. There are also some questions about um, her condition, you know, the Lyme disease. I mean, do you, do you think there is any chance that she could be embellishing? Is there any chance that this could not be as severe as, as she's letting on? I think you have to watch the show. I think that a lot goes on mm -hmm. this season. A lot goes on. I believe that Yolanda Foster has Lyme disease. Yeah. I can tell you that. I think that watching the show, you will see a lot take place. Absolutely. Questions are asked. There's a lot that goes on. Yeah.